from the good doctor. Two, one, you have the floor. Action. Hello, I'm Dr. David Ajibadi, and I'm the founder and director of the Brain and Body Foundation. We've been talking about heart disease. We've been talking about cardiovascular disease. And I think blood pressure <laughs> is the probably the shall we say the root of all evil when it comes to cardiovascular disease it's like the doorway into every other thing almost okay maybe maybe not but anyway it's a key it's a key thing and it's a big problem for us in nigeria and in african countries as well because if you've been listening if you've been following us you see that we've talked a lot about our disadvantages as black people when it comes to cardiovascular disease we have much higher levels whether we, we live in nigeria or in africa or in the western world we have much higher levels of heart disease and heart attacks and strokes than the white person does. So we need to pay attention to this and we need to understand it really well. Blood pressure, we, why is it such a bad thing? Uh, what's the problem? I find we need to explain this because so many people, they just see, well, my blood pressure is, yeah, 160 over 110, but I feel okay. Uh, once in a while I get a headache and then when I, know, when I get a headache or I'm not feeling good, I just know I just go pop a pill. The one my sister is using, she's, she's hypertensive. She has, this, she has, t her, her blood pressure is like 200, so she needs, she needs medication. And once in a while, I'll just go and take a few pills from her and I use them. That seems to be the attitude I see a lot. People don't know what their blood pressures are, their blood pressure readings are. They just go through life and they're like, eh, it's not my portion. It's going to happen to the next person or the next person. It's not going to happen to me. So let me just explain that really quickly and as directly and as succinctly as possible. Uh, if you think of your blood vessels as like a hose, if you think of a water hose, you know those, when we were young, we used to have to water the plants and just put on the, type on the, put on the tap and then spray the plants with water and all that. If you look at the water hose, the water hose was designed to withstand a certain pressure of water flowing through it on a regular basis. If you suddenly put that same hose in a fire hydrant, you know, and then put on a fire hydrant with all that power coming out. You know that within a very, very short period of time, the holes, the walls in that hose will begin to break open and so water will start spraying out because that hose wasn't designed to withstand that kind of pressure. In the same way, our blood vessels, everything from our hearts, um, the arteries, the veins, was our blood vessels were designed to withstand a certain level of pressure, nothing more than 140 over 90. Did you get that? 140 over 90, nothing more than that. And, it, and even 140 over 90 is like the higher limit of normal. Once it goes above that, you're going to begin to put a strain on the, on the blood vessels. And what happens over a period of time is that the inner lining, the inner walls, the, the lining of the inner walls of the blood vessels begin to get uh, injured or damaged. Now, if it's normal water hose, if the walls get damaged, the water pops out, no problem. In your body, your body, because you're a living, breathing human being, your body tries to fix and repair that damage. And it does that by forming clots, it does that by forming um, what they call thrombi. But or scar tissue to try and block it off. The only problem is that it doesn't leave it the way it was before. It, it begins to um, occlude or um, um, just harden the inner layer of the wall. The inner layer of the, the blood vessels should be smooth, it should be soft, it should be velvety so to let blood flow through it. Now once you start having scars forming, it's not going to be that. And so it acts as a focus for other things to begin to build up there. And that's when you have things like clot formation, uh, blockage. It all comes from gradual damage. The other thing that sustained blood pressure does is that it's the, the walls, the middle walls of the vessels begin to get stronger. The, the word is hypertrophy. They begin to get bigger and bigger and bigger because they are, they're trying to, the body is, is, is trying to withstand this pressure. Again, we're living, human, we're living, breathing human beings, so we, we, we respond. We, uh, we, we respond, we react to certain things. And so the combination of the walls, the inner lining of the walls getting damaged and the word is inflammation, inflamed and scar tissue forming and also the thickening of the walls eventually lead to many of the conditions that we now see 
and this can affect your heart, can affect your kidneys. As a matter of fact, um, high blood pressure is the number one cause of kidney damage and the number one reason for dialysis, especially in Africa and the Western and the, the, the developing world. The number two reason is the two number two cause for the, uh, for, uh, reason for dialysis is diabetes. So you have hypertension and diabetes, and these are running rampant in our communities today. Um, so it's very important. You don't want to wait until you have this. Once you're diagnosed with hypertension, don't play with it. Don't joke around with it. Take your medication. Make sure that the medication is working. So you might have to do a few visits to your doctor to get the right drugs or combination of drugs to ensure that your blood pressure is being properly controlled. And then you can move on with life. But you cannot just play around with it. It's way too important. You're causing damage to your body. I have people who are in their 30s, in their early 30s, imagine that, who are already having blood pressures of 200 and above. I had, I had a cousin, uh, a relative, who fainted, in the, who fainted while at work. And they took him to the hospital. His blood pressure was way up there. So we have a problem. Again, I can't stress it enough. I know I've said it several times, but we have a problem when it comes to cardiovascular disease. And it's important that we pay attention and do the right thing. So watch your blood pressure. Go check your blood pressure right now. If you haven't checked it in a while, go check your blood pressure. Make sure it's normal. If it's not normal, go see the doctor. Thank you. Great. Great. All right.